Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Calimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Chuck Waller Raceway. The Ducati Street Fighter V4S is feeling mighty fine today, you guys. I will say, so far, so good. So, uh, if you guys are here, you may have watched my first video talking about the Cordona Quick Shifter. Uh, and I think I think we're learning it. I think it's I think it's learning it. <laughs> uh, I think that the quick shifter is kind of self-learning. So I think it is learning as we ride. So we'll see how it feels in this session. hitting 100 right now now uh, we're in the middle of the desert literally this is desert center <laughs> so we'll get a little warm up and we'll start talking about this over suspension which um if you guys are doing some research about it you're probably finding my video and uh finding out very little about it not many people gotten into this or the use of it or anything like that um there's one gentleman i linked in the first video with the install that talked about the, the the logic behind it but i don't think he ever installed it on his bike he may have installed it in the second video but uh suspension and uh, what it's all about so in, in layman's term and me and your terms what it's designed to do is keep some pressure on the back suspension so as the wheel is bouncing up and down It and keeps a keeps the contact patch closer to the ground from it vibrating up. So basically, as the suspension's moving, it's making that thing stay down. Now, when I first went out the very first session, I had this thing cranked up. They tell you to crank it up to full. All plus. And then dial it down from there. Now, I kind of felt like it was too much. I felt like it was staying on the ground a little too much. So much so that as I was kind of exiting corners right about here, I kind of felt that it was kind of pushing me a little bit. So I did a one full 360 degree turn and uh, ran last session like that and it actually felt pretty good. It feels pretty good right now. So we're going to kind of leave it there for now and see how it does. in the Ferrodo brake pads and I chewed them up in about a year 
about 5,000 miles, maybe 4,000 miles, mostly track. <laughs> But uh, this time around we went with the uh, EBC Street Track uh, bike paths. And uh, definitely a much better bite. I like it. The other one had okay, it was just a good consistent Like, this feels like we're stopping, you know? So there we got that thing in second gear again, which is really weird. I don't know what the hell that is. good 
guys. And I got a few other things getting ready to ship out to me soon. So stay tuned for this. I've got some stuff coming. Uh, said at the Button Willow Day the S1000 single R is going to be going into the night with some modifications body modifications that is <laughs> give you guys a little bit and my thirsty light came on That's uh, two good sessions and a half. Two sessions on this thing's about all I can wring out of it. Help 
we can prevent high sides and whatnot, then I think we're uh, I think we're in a good thing with it, you know. So. If you guys are noticing rear chatter, which sometimes it's more pronounced than others, but it's not just available for Ducatis, it's available for everything. There's a bunch of different bikes that, that it bolts on to, so it's available at policingmoto.com. I'll link it down below. But uh, I think it's I think it's good. Like I said, if it's if it's doing its job, I think we got a big thumbs up on it. But I guess the real kind of one of the real questions is going to be is it worth the oh, nearly $400 it's one of those modifications that you just kind of have to weigh out the pros and cons and weigh out if it's worth the money right um, it I don't think it's going to be a night and day difference But, I don't know, I mean it's, I really would love to, to get Dave, I mean look at, look at the tire. The tire looks really, really good. I mean, and that's, so keeping this on the ground, that's, you know, the, the, this keeping the tire on the ground is gonna is is gonna help with this you can see him really out of tire on the edge so this is the last ride on this but uh you can see over here it's it's a little sputtery over here but you know tire pressure suspension settings everything that's a big help in addition to this so uh what i did was uh, again i'm i i went one all the way full and then i back one turn one full turn is where i've got it set so I hope you guys enjoyed the ride here on the Street Fighter V4S. Um, I got, I thought I fixed the boot issue, but I just ruined another set of boots with the aero exhaust. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for sticking around for the Street Fighter V4S. A couple new things and uh, make sure you guys do the normal, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and then ring that bell notification. Bell notification is going to give you future notifications up next. The uh, BMW S1000 Single R. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.